We've been reporting this morning that next week we'll see some changes in welfare payments to millions of people. Although they've been known about for some time, there's still confusion and concern about who will be affected and just how much Paul Lewis and Ready For's Money Box programme is here. Paul, you've been talking about this for a while, but this is crunch time, isn't it? Th this is when it happens next week, changes to both help with council tax and help with your rent. So, yes, it starts on the 1st of April, and um, a lot of people will be affected. And as Mike Sargent was saying earlier, more than 2 million working-age people will find they have to pay some council tax benefit. I've had an awful lot of tweets and emails. Uh, Marion lives in Harlow. She's going to have to pay £330 a year up from nothing. She doesn't work. She'd get, she looks after her mother, um, who's got all sorts of medical problems, and she just says, how am I going to pay it? Um, and also a warning from the Reverend Paul Nicholson, you know, don't not pay your council tax just because you now have to pay some, because that can add hundreds of pounds. And he says there is a, a discretion to write it off for vulnerable and impoverished people, so that might be a, a way of getting... Has the government made any in, uh, inclination of how it's going to deal with councils and make sure that they're administering these t charges fairly and thoughtfully? No, it's exactly the opposite. What the government's doing is passing the whole thing over to councils. It's part of what they call localism. So the council's being given the money that would have been spent by the government, only minus 10%, and that they're being told, get on with it. You decide how you do it. Um, there is a discretionary housing fund uh, which, which people can apply for if they're in hardship. But apart from that, no, they've just been given the money and told, get on with it. Um, uh, yeah, disability benefits, another area. Well, disability benefits are a particularly difficult one because a lot of the people affected by the, the other changes are also disabled. I mean, most of the people affected by the, the under-occupation charge, the so-called bedroom tax, they, two thirds of those are disabled people. Um, but there are particular changes to a benefit called disability disability living allowance, uh, that will become uh, personal independence payment. There is a timetable, it will only start for new claimants in April and then June this year. Change of circumstances, um, then you can be reassessed in October and I've had an email from the CAB saying, you know, be careful about reporting a change of circumstances without getting advice because mm. your personal independence payment is going to be harder to get than disability living allowance. The Labour Party calls it the bedroom tax, you said so called. <laughs> the government calls it the spare room, spare room subsidy. subsidy. Depends which way you're looking at it, but people, it's still getting people talking, isn't yes, it? Yes, absolutely. I think the bedroom tax, the, the, the under-occupation charge, if you've got more bedrooms than the government thinks you need in the public, you know, council, tax, uh, council housing, then you will have some of your help with rent taken away. And I have to say, I've had a number of people say, well, what about people in private? Uh, rented accommodation. We've had to put up with this for several years and no one mentioned it. And another one, uh, Miss Kay, tweeted me to say, you know, she's under 35 and now from this month, because of the way the timetable worked, she's only going to be able to get benefit for shared accommodation, not for her own accommodation. And she thinks that's unfair. So there's lots of little bits of changes that are affecting real people. Now, of course, many people think we've got to cut the benefits bill. The government says it's 23 billion a year on housing benefit. We've got to keep it down. Um, but it has caused a lot of difficulties for people who thought they knew what they were getting and now no longer are. Okay. Paul, um, I know you're going to keep tweeting and keep answering. Oh, I'll be anyway. tweeting about this probably all day, the way things go. <laughs> probably. <laughs> Thanks very, probably yeah. a week. Yes. <laughs> Thanks, Thanks very much. much. Let's see, time now is 8.42.